Ooh. Hey guys! Yay! She just got that whoa! Whoa. Alright, today we're coming back at you. I have made the decision that we love TikTok so much. We love it so much that we were going to show you some of our most loved beauty favorites that also happen to be TikTok approved. Some of these are highly TikTok approved. Some of these are our tried and true. Approved. Um, but nonetheless, would you guys also like to see more content on TikTok that is beauty related? And then also taking that content and putting it to YouTube, like marrying them and them being one happy family. Short content of beauty there, long beauty content here. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have our TikTok link down below for you to right. check out and follow if you have not already because we are having a good time over there. Yes. So if you are ready to hear about some of our loves, beauty must haves, favorites, we got beauty, we got hair, we got skin, we got body, we got it all. It all. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell because that's how you'll know when we've uploaded. That's how you know when we gonna show. That's right. Let's All get right, right into it. Let's jump into it. All right, I'm gonna start with body, like a body item, just because I wanna smell it. We're gonna be all over the place. We may not stick to one category, so you're not gonna wanna miss any of it. All right, I agree. Right? I agree. Okay, this is the Sol <laughs> de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. It is so delicious. It's a treat. And it says, love it, flaunt it, you got it. We fell in love with the scent with the Boom Boom Cream, I believe mm -hmm. is how you say it. Yeah. And I still love the Boom Boom Cream. I mm. got this when it was the VIB sale and I use it as a treat. So like, mm. I have other body washes and I kind of rotate around. And I use that one for a treat because I don't want to use it all up in one go. Yeah, I also have a little mini that we got in the travel set and I will sometimes refill that mini and take it with me on trips and mm -hmm. it just, it envelops the entire bathroom. I just love it. It just makes it just delicious. So <laughs> that's a body fave. I'm trying to keep Boom. these in order for a close up. I'll just keep it in a body fave because I love this one and for a second I couldn't remember if this was the right one in here. I have multiple favorites in this category. This one is leaking, so not good. This you is... gotta be careful with that too because when you go to use your hands oh, on it. Oh my dear, my hands it were covered. It's stained. So this is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark. Now, this is my favorite tanner, but it is expensive. Tracy has one that is also my favorite that is not expensive and I kind of rotate back and forth because this is also a smaller bottle and it goes really, really fast, but it makes me really tan. I rotate between the two. This one is my favorite, but it's more expensive. This, Good this job. is the other one. This is the St. Moritz, St. Moritz Professional Tanning Mousse Dark Streak Fee, Fee. <laughs> I hope that picked that up because there's an 18 wheeler that just backed up and did his little brakes and I was like, Okay, a uh, straight free wash off guide color. That for me is essential for it to have a guide color mm -hmm. because I can tell where I haven't applied it. Mm -hmm. And so this is my favorite. All the ones that are like color free, won't stain your sheets. I'm like, no, no, I need the guide color. But the other thing I will say that I love about this one versus some of the other ones I've tried like Saint Tropez and even Loving Tan is I can put this on and I start at my feet, work my way up to the top of my body. By the time I've applied at the top of my body, I give it maybe five-ish minutes or so. I can put clothes on. And you're pretty dry. And I'm yeah. pretty dry, don't feel sticky. Some of those others, I feel sticky and like my body's sticking to itself mm. until I wash it off. And I don't have that I think that the problem Benefit one that used to be one of my favorites, like the marshmallow one. Yeah. I think no, that one. No, marshmallow was Saint Tropez. Was it marshmallow? Saint that was sticky. Yes. Sticky icky. Yeah. This one has not been as sticky. That one I think is the least sticky. This is my favorite for that. And I'm pretty sure it's like 12, 12.99 at Ulta. And, and I think it lasts longer than the other A lot of the time they do buy one, get one half off. So you can get, uh, yeah, this do is Do they a, do that with this or just St. Moritz? I don't know, I've just, I've seen it yeah. a lot with this. Sometimes I think they do tanning deals in general. I love um, loving tan. But yeah. So. I love, love it. Love it. Love it. Okay guys, this is a favorite that we've been using for over a year now? Yeah. And it is a hair care favorite and it is Function of Beauty and this is sponsored by Function of Beauty. You guys know that we love it so much and we've been playing with it through our like normal straight hair journey and then also our curly wavy hair journey. So these... I've been updating you guys on stories about my experience and I recently did a curly hair mm -hmm. update and I had been using the shampoo and conditioner that day and oh my God, it was such a good hair day. Oh. 
These are really good because they are 100% customizable. You can fill out the quiz and talk about all the different things you have with your hair. Super short quiz, like two minutes. Yeah, and all of the different things that you want with your hair. I'm gonna tell you guys about mine because I got my little pamphlet here. Pamphlet. And I'm gonna tell you what like my hair type is and what my goals were for um, these particular yeah. ones. And this is nice because it comes with it. So if the next time you wanna get it, you wanna know what you chose the last time and you wanna tweak it a little bit, right. it's a good thing to reference back to and be like, okay, I did this this time, but I wanna change it next time. So. Okay, so this is the function of Tracy. And in the close up, I'll show you, you can see where it says function of Tracy. You can put whatever you want. Yeah, you can it. be like function of the best hair day ever. Yeah. As long as it fits within the number of characters. Yeah. I did opt to go dye free on this one just because I wanted you guys to see that like that's an option. But you can also change the color and you can make them the same color. You can do different colors, change it up, whatever you yeah. want to do. You can also do it fragrance free. I don't know if yeah. you said that. This one, mm, this one has a fragrance and it's, it's good. It's called Strike a Rose. It's good. Okay, so my hair profile is curly, fine, and normal. So my individual strands are fine. I do have naturally curly hair and I would say generally my hair is pretty normal. I can have a little bit of oil on my scalp, but I think it's like a normal level yeah. and my ends tend to be a little bit dry, but curly, naturally curly hair goes dry and anyway. yeah. that's just the nature of it. So my goals were curl definition, deep condition, hydrate, replenish hair and strengthen. And what I love is that on the Function of Beauty website, it breaks down what those things mean because mm -hmm. I know for me, it can be a little bit confusing, like aren't deep conditioning and hydrating the same thing, but it gives you that information so you can, yeah. you can make the best choices for what your needs are. Mm -hmm. It breaks down what your hair goals are in here. So like Hydrate says, restore your hair's moisture balance, prevent future moisture, moisture loss, and treat your hair with long lasting hydration. And then deep condition. <laughs> Words are hard today. Yeah, deep condition says, moisturize and deeply condition your hair from the inside out to repair damage from heat and or chemical processing, which I do both. Okay guys, are you ready for this? This is the best part. You ready? Ready. Okay. They're cruelty free. I'm looking over here because it's a lot. Cruelty free, 100% vegan, sulfate free, made in the USA, no parabens, never tested on triclosan animals, triclosan or sulfates, never tested on animals, all the good things. And what I'm going to tell you about this is I've used sulfate free shampoos and then I've used function of beauty shampoos. Mm -hmm. My hair feels clean. It has a nice suds to it. So, right. you know, it, it feels so good, but it doesn't feel dried out. Yeah. The benefit of using sulfate free shampoos is that you're not stripping the oils and the things in your hair but sometimes it can leave it feeling kind of weighed down, but I don't have that problem with this yeah. shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. And I just, oh. Beyond that, they also have masks, leave-in conditioners, and other hair products that you can check out if you want more than just right. a shampoo and conditioner. And last thing I'm gonna say is that I have used shampoos and conditioners in the past where I feel like this needs to be my curly hair day, and this right. needs to be just my, when I wanna wear it straight, but I can do both with these. I can get you a girl that can do both. <laughs> there you go. I But seriously, I can wear my naturally curly hair yeah. with this. The conditioner has a really good slip, so I'm able to detangle, and then, but I, I can because ultimately like you're getting a product for your hair type and that can help you with any style right if you know what I mean yeah because and Stephanie and I are different so mm -hmm. we customize ours differently mm -hmm. because your hair is more of it's a more of a thick coarse dry wavy like kind her of situation. strands are thicker than my strands um and you have a lot of them. And I think my hair is more dry yeah, than hers. I would agree, I would agree. Um, so we're gonna have a link down below where you can save 20% off. And I wanna know which which scent are you gonna get. Yeah, tell us which scent. The they have lots of really good scents. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one is a super raved about TikTok item. And you guys, I have to say, I found it before TikTok got hyped about it. And I can confirm what people are saying about it is totally legit. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. And we shied away from this for a little bit at first because I don't know if we had heard that it can be kind of matte or drying. Like there was some element of it that we were afraid of. Did they change of. the packaging? No. The only Infallible that I feel like I've tried is the- We didn't, you didn't try it. Yeah, I didn't What I'm saying it. is we were afraid of because it. Because of the original Infallible, Maybe, right? maybe, I don't know. That's um, why I went with the L'Oreal Pro Club. Yeah. Because it was, so which this, I still use, guys. This one says up to 24 hour breathable texture. And people are like, it's like a beauty filter in a bottle, okay? And I mix the 440 and the 435 because the 440 can go a little bit yellow and then the 435 is a little bit too pinky for me. So like it's not a perfect shade match, but I make it a perfect shade match. So it also has SPF 25, which Ooh. I love. And this has been a favorite repurchase 
really good foundation. You know another thing that's on TikTok that I want to try? What? The Ordinary, the one that's like the... Vampire? Yeah, uh, yeah. I have it. You have it? Yeah, Do you I like have it. it? Yeah. It's a dupe for the baby facial. Mm -hmm. Have you tried it yet? Yeah. It's yeah. TikTok, it's TikTok I know, I know, I know I have it. I should have brought it, but yeah, I it's, TikTok it's one of those that I only use like very sparingly because you're not supposed to use it on a regular basis. It's like a once a week kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, totally TikTok food. This is not a TikTok item, but it's inspired by TikTok because I feel like a requirement to be on TikTok is to My have nails. these nails and they're like, yeah, I got nails. I'm cute. Um, Look at my nails. I don't know why. I felt the same way with Musical.ly. Yeah. Everyone had nails. Well, you're doing a lot of hand stuff, and it's like... Yeah. Kind of so, hands in there. And sometimes it'll be like close upon unboxings of hands and stuff. So this was not because of TikTok, but I also feel like it kind of inspired me to do this. But we came across these impress that we had here at the office that had been sent via PR. But then when we found those, I loved them so much, I went out and just started buying them like crazy. Steph has been having them on, on I, I pretty rotation. much I pretty much do like three to five days break on my nails and then I put them on and I wear them for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Yeah. Um, that's how long they last. But you these know are, who else has been raving about them? Who? Tiffany D. They're so And good. I'm not sure if she's doing the press on or the glue on, but she's like. There's a difference. There is, I don't know what it is about these press on. Well, she said she'll wear them to Disney. She'll wear them, yes, like, long-term. They're good. They're the Impress Press-On Manicure. I have really tiny fingernails, so a lot of times the fancy parts don't work on me. That's okay. I'm more looking for a solid color on my nails that just makes my nails look finished and just polished. Um, but they're a good length, and I think that's kind of why they stay pretty well. Yeah. Because they're not so long that they're grabbing onto everything. They're just the Impress Press-On Manicure, and they have 30 nails with six accents, no glue needed. I do have the hack if I keep a little brush on nail glue in my bag with just me at all case. times. Because they don't usually pop up, but they'll get loose on one side and start to lift up. So I'll just pop it off and re-glue it back on. Okay, this is another TikTok mm -hmm. thing. Not specifically brand-wise, but just ingredient-wise. And that is hyaluronic acid. I have seen so many TikToks that talks about... It's funny, I saw something about hyaluronic acid this morning that is not appropriate to talk about, but um, it, it, yeah. <laughs> okay. It, I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is something that's almost empty. This is from Sephora. It's the, is the inky list kind of like the ordinary? Yes. It's super all. affordable, maybe $7. Mm -hmm. So this is, I don't see ingredients on here, but it's basically just hyaluronic acid. Sure. Yeah. So. Which the, is such a scary word. The like, key thing acid. on this is that you need to have a wet face when you apply it because it's going to lock that moisture in. And then when you put it on your wet skin, you need to seal it all in with a nice moisturizer. So as soon as I get out of the shower while my face is still damp, I put this on, put it on, and then I follow it up with a nice moisturizer. I got this one from one of our box unboxings, like mm -hmm. Birchbox or Ipsy. It's Ev Evo Evolue, I don't know, hydrating serum. And the ingredients are aqua, hyaluronic acid, citrus, blah, blah, basically hyaluronic acid. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. And so I've just been using this one because this one's almost out. But ultimately, it's that I like to start my skincare routine with a wet face, hyaluronic acid, and then a moisturizer because it's going to plump up your skin, keep mm -hmm. it moisturized, and make you look younger than what you actually are. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> I actually pulled empties for this one because I keep these in my Which little. I want to do an empties. I want to do an empties. I keep these in my little skin fridge now. Yeah. So I just left them in my skin fridge and brought my empties. Um, but this is the belief. It took me forever to realize that it is spelled B E L I F. Yeah. So is it belief or is it belief? I think I think it's belief. I don't know. It's just. I, I use the, oh, you have it too. Yeah. I use the moisturizing eye balm and then the True Cream Aqua Balm, but I've also used, this is the gel version, I think. And I'm using just the True Cream Moisturizing I, I have that balm. right now. That's yeah. what I'm using right now, yeah. but the gel is also a thing. I kind of like using the cream in winter and the gel more in the summer when I get greasier. So um, love these. I've been using these, gosh, two years now maybe. Yeah. And it's just, my skin has not really been dry and I've just enjoyed it. So if it ain't broke, although I will take any um, recommendations for super moisturizing, that's slightly affordable skincare in my opinion. Um, it's a good size for- Right, because yeah. I think these are like in the 20 to $40 range which Hello Drunk Elephant and some of the other ones, they are a lot more expensive. I love Drunk Elephant, don't get me wrong. I have Drunk Elephant, but it's nice to have a 
different range of affordability. All right, this is another TikTok approved and it is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Guys, I love, live, breathe that product. Not going out of our bag anytime soon. We get the bronzer color. There's also a light, but that's not, mm -mm. go for just bronzer. It's perfect. It's a good all over color situation. It doesn't really have any kind of shimmer or whatever. It smells like heaven. Yeah, I saw Emily Noel talking about it and her, I totally agree with her feedback. Like I don't even have the brush in here anymore. It could be such a smaller footprint in my bag. That's what she said and I totally agree. It's just bulky unnecessarily. So, and it also always breaks. It always breaks. Always breaks. Like the, the. Yes, it yes. does. Yes. So. Come on. Which is funny because my most recent product right here broke. Do us better. If you watched our last video, this product already looks like I've had it for a year. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> so to say the packaging does not stand up is an understatement. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Blush Lighter. But it's I'd already broken. Put, I would rather than put more into the product than the outside packaging. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I only use the highlight color, but What's funny? It's very bright. Oh. <laughs> like when I look over here, yeah. it's very bright. Yeah. Like as bright or brighter than some of my high end ones. But then your future. I use the light color, which is, I would not call a blush lighter. The other one is kind of a blush highlighter. Yeah. And I love it. I ran out of highlighter recently. I was using, oh, was it a Becca? I don't know. It broke, whatever it was. It always breaks. I think Becca it was a Becca. Breaks. And then I think I had a Morphe from like a box or something. They just have all busted. It busted. So I got a drugstore one and I'm loving it more than any of them, so. I have a new favorite mascara. Oh no. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, who am I? I oh, was shit. on CoverGirl, not CoverGirl, Maybelline, Big Shot, I mean, oh, since 2016. Yeah. It's still good. Bought a new one recently. Been using this one because I was out of my Big Shot. Mm -hmm. I've been using a high-end one, which is not me. I not love this me. one. I love this one. I love this one. She I love this it. one. I don't like the black packaging exhibitionist. I like the silver. Kind of difference. Fizzy. I don't remember what it what it said, but the brush is different. It's just not where it's at. It's CoverGirl Exhibitionist Silver. I mean, look at look at this packaging. Yeah. It's nasty. <laughs> She nasty. Whoop, she dropped it. <laughs> Guys, I love it. And it's in very black. I just bought another one on Amazon. No, Target. So it's on the way. And all these things will be linked down below as always. But mm -hmm. this is a good one. Oh, also throw in, um, if you like our shirts, we have an online boutique called Madison and Mallory. And they both can be found there. We'll link them down below. Mine's like a fun little tie-dye V-neck waffle knit. Mine is a striped V-neck, real cute. I love it. Super cute. We also have it in black and white. It's only $21. Links. What? Links down below to it. Super good. Super good. Oh, I don't know where to go next. Oh, let's just keep going with this. Wet and Wild again. Eyeliner, brush tip from our last video. What? Has it replaced a Yes, it's 100%. 100%. No more high end. Y'all, I have replaced my Anastasia Brow Wiz with NYX. I have done my high end Kat Von D with this. We're going drugs. I have store. very few high end products that I use in makeup other than eyeshadow. Right. My eyeliner, my eyebrow, pencil. I mean, my blush is wet and wild right now. My bronzer is that. My highlight, everything there you go. is drugstore. Drugstore, except for something I have right here and my concealer. There you go. And maybe my brow. There you uh, go. Gel. Is another TikTok made me do it? And guys. She's been slathering this on day and night. I don't have, I, I put it on this morning. Yeah. I don't have it on right now. I tried to be a little bit sparing with it because it is expensive. And that is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. But like it's an oldie, right? It is an oldie. Okay, but also I would Not like to one, say. Not this one, but like the. Yeah, I, I purchased this brand new from Ulta. <laughs> Because I saw a TikTok of a girl saying Kylie Jenner who. <laughs> and I did it really her. make her lips look big? Yes. I bought it. But like, do you think that she did something else to make them look big and not just that? I hope she didn't lie to me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there's technically, I think, a tar <clears throat> a target <laughs> option right now. I saw a TikTok of a girl <laughs> who works in the beauty department at Target and she was kind of showing some of her favorite beauty pics and there was an item that was a dupe for this. I need to find that TikTok or research So we can do it. a dupe or don't. If you guys know everything. it down below, comment it, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm also enjoying TikTok. Okay. Lipid products. I have another eye product, but I wanna talk about these first, <laughs> y'all. If you watched our last video where we did makeup, these, which one of these stays in here for when I'm doing photos, this one is the only one I've actually 
taken with me, as you can tell. <laughs> one looks gross, one looks normal. It is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon, and they are just, I'm wearing this one, it's just like a little crayon. I think Buxom kind of had similar ones to this, but it's just a little crayon, and you have a little sharpener on the other end, which it helps to sharpen it. Yeah. Um, every day. Wear this. Love it. It's it stays on, but it wears off nice. I've got a nasty zit right here. Oh, Have no. you been enjoying it? Because it's I been really shining. It. Yeah, I love them. They stay, they're matte, but they're not uncomfortable. It wears off pretty well. This is a nice like pinky color, and this is a nice kind of rosy natural color, and they're just good stuff. I highly recommend. My lip product, I have been kind of in rotation wearing some combination of the Lorac, which is similar to the pencil she just showed. Okay, this is in the color gray. I've talked about this before. It's what I'm wearing today. But mostly, it's it's not about this one specifically. It's about finding a color like this, this like light, nudie pink, grayish color, yeah. and then putting a lip gloss on top. I really like this one. It is the Milani Ludicrous Lip Gloss. Oh, if you watched our last video. <laughs> in the color Semi Charmed, and I really like it. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. But then also I think about Ludacris. <laughs> like all the 90s, 2000s. From the outside packaging, it looks like it has a little bit of shimmer, but you, you don't feel it and you don't really see it on. It's just a really pretty like mauve color and I am enjoying it. Tried and true, give me brow. I kind of shied away from doing brow gel and then I started back doing it when I went brunette because I just felt like I wanted my eyebrows to be even more like dark and defined. I have a hard time with my eyebrows standing up up as it is so like I try to do a little bit in the front but ultimately my brows just don't love standing up so but I do like it for taming the brows and getting them a little darker and honestly sometimes I hate doing pencil in the front so I'll rely on this more in the front yeah make it look and a little then, more natural yeah which I tend to go crazier in the front but I've been, I've been enjoying this one I repurchased it recently I have mixed feelings slash love hate on this scent the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream is that the new one yes can I try the new one I mean, I think it is. I don't get as much popcorn. No, that is the new one, I think. I get more tropical-y, yeah. coconut-y. I love it. Ooh. Yumminess. So I have a large one of when this first came out. And oh, I hate, I hate the original People set. really talk about it smelling like buttered popcorn. So it actually makes me nauseous yeah. when I use it. So I don't but use the, the original one. But the reformulated one is good. But sometimes I get a little teeny tiny little baby hint of it that I'm like, popcorn. Well, the scent is still there. No coconut bar cookies. The scent is still there. But it's like they've but eaten they've, it. They've They've mixed it better and it's not as in your face. Yeah. But the other one is like one of those scents that you put on your like this is sickeningly like buttery popcorn. Yeah, it's thing. just too heavy. But, but this is the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream and I am enjoying it. I love how we have managed to end on the same thing. Well, I was kind of seeing what you were doing. Well, I'm technically want to mention this real fast, but this. It, I love this. We worked with Allure Beauty and you guys know we were doing like Allure Beauty box stuff and this we found through Allure Beauty box. So like beauty boxes can sometimes be like gold. I mean, the, this thing came from- Yeah, one. like it can be gold. So yeah. don't write them off yet, even though we're not doing our birch box first Ipsy anymore because month. I got Tatcha in my Ipsy. Yeah, I told you. That's I put good. it on today. But, I used the Tatcha Dewy cream but today. But it also, the Tatcha Dewy cream, it kind of smells herbally. Yeah, it's a, not it my favorite like scent. Japanese rice something or another yeah. in it, but- But I think, I, they're, I think they're smoother, smelled kind of herbally too. Yeah. It's not my favorite scent. But this is by Huda, Huda? Beauty, um, the KLE Vanilla 28. It was a little bit shocking because I think they changed the color of it. So I was expecting this to be kind of a taupey color when it came in the mail and it was purple, like purpley brown. This is my favorite perfume. It's vanilla, kind of woodsy. I love it. I wear it all the time. 10 out of 10. This one and vanilla apricot. Is that vanilla apricot? Nope. This is I'm just vanilla apricot. extreme. It is basically That's empty. my vanilla apricot looks like. I love this. This is just the plain vanilla scent. And we found out about this from Candy Johnson at an event. Gosh, when was it? Probably 2015. Maybe it was a VidCon, yeah. I think. And we were like, oh my gosh, you smell delicious. What are you no, wearing? I know what it was. It was 2014. It wasn't that New long Jersey. Ago. I swear, we were at YouTube Space New York because we were in that weird marketplace where, and then we were in that room. The weird party? Yeah, the weird party at YouTube Space LA. 2014 seems too long ago. But it was, but it was end of 2014, so it was basically 2015. Maybe, It was like November. I don't know. It was November 2014 we were having all the issues on. That was when I first started it. Anyway, it's delicious. I told her she smelled like cupcakes and she told us what it was and I have loved it ever since. So I need more. It's good. It's good. It's good. 
just real quick, I just wanted to mention this little shout out. And if you guys want us to do some Amazon favorites, we've got some. This little crossbody bag has been my thing for a minute. Tracy has a bag too that's crossbody, don't you? Is it in here? Love this crossbody, super convenient. I stick it in my bigger bag sometimes when we travel or when we're going places and I pull this out just to take into the store. Um, but if you wanna see some of our Amazon favorites, we will do it um, in another video because we I love, love all of our Amazon finds. And the only thing I would say is sometimes it's hard to find links for these because the sellers get either they remove them or Amazon removes them. I <laughs> or don't they know. sell out and they don't resell them after yeah. that. But I just wanted to share that we have some Amazon favorites and we would love to share them if you want to see them. You know, sometimes a fuzz catches my eye and I start going. So those are all of our favorites. We hope you enjoyed watching. And we'll we are have gonna a link. have them, yeah, link down below. Thanks to Function of Beauty for working with us on this video. We'll have everything you need to know, links. Check out the quiz, let us know your favorite scents, what are you gonna get. We're gonna talk to you guys in a video super soon. We sure dang well. Bye guys. Bye guys. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, you can click the video on the right. And if you missed our previous video, you can click the video on the left. And if you still haven't subscribed, you can click the circular channel icon and it'll sub you right, right up. up.